I've been speaking to people about in-person author events. And this was normally in the scenario of book signings or author readings and things like that. I think I've had this conversation with Mark Lefebvre. And as you can imagine, Mark is all about in-person events. And when I was speaking to Mark, and this was over like a long period of time, I was saying, I've looked at this. I'm trying to make a living on this now that I'm not my corporate job anymore. It shouldn't be a hobby anymore. And I really couldn't justify basically what's usually a day investment. Like even if it's local, you know, you get up, you have to load your books up, you have to drive to the venue, you have to get there early. So you're be sure you're there for it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And when I was talking to Mark, I just didn't feel like attendance at in-person events was worth my time. But both Writer's Digest Conference and a couple of in-person author events I've done have made me rethink that. So the example I'll use is that when Anne Kinder Book 5 came out, it is based at a winery. And there's a local winery that was the inspiration for the setting of the book. And the people there were very helpful to me in terms of providing subject matter expertise. And when the book came out, they invited me to come and do a launch event there, which was very nice of them. And coincidentally, it was the same weekend that months ago, I had arranged with an author friend of mine and her husband to meet me and my husband at that winery just to get together for a drink. And her books have a wine theme as well. Her whole series has a wine theme. Mine was just a wine theme for this one book. And I said, if it's okay with the venue, do you want to come and do a joint uh, author event with me? Because they thought in the absolute worst case where nobody shows up for the event, this friend of mine and her husband and my husband and I will just sit around drinking wine for a couple of hours and then we'll go home. And that will be a perfectly nice, pleasant way to spend the afternoon. And fortunately, that didn't happen. People actually showed up. We sold great. some books. It was great. Um, but I think that I would always try to make it so that in the worst possible case, it was still going to be fun. You know, always invite a friend or invite somebody else to participate as an author, a participating author with you. But you do get an energy from talking to people in person that you just don't, I hate to say this in a Zoom meeting, but that you don't just get on Zoom. You don't just get yeah. in, a, in a virtual event. 